Do you guys like this background like this? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, it's Audrey and today I am in my dorm at UC Davis and I wanted to take out the camera and talk about this topic which is very important to me and has been bothering me a lot lately which is the struggle of young creatives in school or in college stuck in this environment to where you feel confined just the struggle and the frustration that comes along with being a creative person and all you want to do is make things and be learning how to use your medium but you're stuck in these classrooms sometimes learning things that may not seem to be that important to you they seem like a waste of time sometimes how many of you can relate to you're sitting in class, whether that be in college or in high school or wherever you are? Same thought is passing through your mind of why the hell am I here? That thought has been crossing my mind a lot more often. It is a very frustrating thought to have sometimes because I just want to be out there making things and learning how to use this medium, which is film and video. And sometimes when I'm stuck in an American history class, I can get very frustrated because I feel like I'm wasting my time. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I always I always seem to catch like a creative wave when I'm busiest with schoolwork, which is the most inconvenient and very annoying thing that happens to me like all the time. For example, right now I'm in the middle of the finals. Like last week, I started getting like all these ideas and getting just really inspired when it comes to YouTube and thinking about what I want to do next year with my YouTube channel and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't have time to be thinking about this right now. Like, why am I getting so many ideas when I should be studying for finals, when I should be writing these damn essays? And it's just now that all these ideas are just popping up. Literally the other day, I was supposed to be writing my essays for one of my take-home exams and I found myself fooling around on Photoshop trying to teach myself how to use the program. If you're not going to learn it in a classroom setting then I'm going to teach myself, you know. I think it's important to spend time experimenting with those programs but at the same time I have schoolwork to do and I can't forget about that obviously so it's just it's a hard balance between the two if you're wondering about the same types of things as I am or if you're getting frustrated with your classes or you just don't feel like you have enough time to focus on what you're really passionate about you have to keep in mind that every single thing that you do, class you're taking in school or maybe you're in college and you're learning all these life skills whether or not you may realize it right now Everything you're doing is, in a way, in its own way, a stepping stone towards your ultimate goal. And I know that I have really big goals that I want to accomplish, and sometimes I think just thinking about those goals can sometimes actually prevent me from being productive and getting things done and moving towards them because I'm so focused on the end goal and what I want to create and it's preventing me from actually getting there which involves a lot of trial and error. There's so many skills and things you can be learning while you're in an academic environment. It's a perfect place for you to actually get out there and do some self-taught learning. I'm starting to realize that it's kind of the the whole thing with whenever I want, whenever I have time, it's making me procrastinate more on my schoolwork. So one thing I want to do to stop that from happening next quarter is literally block out some time on your schedule for self-learning type things. It doesn't have to be like super structured. It doesn't even matter what you're trying to learn. Maybe you're trying to learn photography or maybe your medium is painting or maybe it's um, clay sculptures, I don't know, it doesn't matter, whatever it is, block out some time in your schedule for whatever you're passionate about and just stick, try and stick to it as close as possible and hopefully it will reduce how much you procrastinate doing that type of stuff when you should be doing other things. I'm gonna be trying that out next quarter, so if it works, I will let you guys know. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you click that subscribe button, which should be, this is that way, because I post videos every Tuesday on this channel, and now until the end of the year, I'm going to be posting more than just once a week because my goal is to get to 200 subscribers by the end of this year so if you have not subscribed please do so it would make me so happy i will see you guys definitely next tuesday with another video but i will probably see you earlier than that so yeah i'll see you guys later bye